Hi guys, this is Jot. In today's video, we are going to check out the Naoxal N365 um, ceramic coating, which I received from Naoxal. However, it's not a paid advert. You are going to hear and see my honest opinion as usual. This one is like a one year coating, ceramic coating. The car is going to be polished. I'm not going to put that part in this video, but I will polish it. And when it's all done, then I'm going to apply this coating we are going to let's say unbox it open it up to see what is within the package and then i will tell a bit more about it later on let's roll Okay, boys and girls, in the package there was the ceramic coating itself, a small microfiber towel. I'm going to use another one because I find this one a bit small because compared to the size of the car. For headlight, it would be more than enough. Uh, but I'm going to use another one. First of all, because of the size. Second, because it's not washed yet. So I'm going to use a washed towel. Then it has an applicator block and a sticker. For the very first application or when I start to apply, uh, according to the instructions, I need to do like 25-ish drops on the applicator block later on uh, for the second and so on. Um, less will be enough. Obviously, depending on the size of the panel, I need to use a smaller quantity, but I will adjust it as I feel. Oh, 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 
stop us We are wanderers, nothing can stop us We are wanderers, nothing can stop us We are wanderers, nothing can stop us All right, boys and girls, that was the Neoxal N365 ceramic coating. Um, yeah, my first observation was when I started to use um, the applicator was like this suede cloth um, on a, like a, this one, actually I opened it up, uh, on a sponge block and whatever quantity of the coating I was keep dripping on, I could I could not um, apply it evenly because it was just keep streaking. This um, block, this uh, sponge block, was keep sucking up all the um, all the nice juices. So I decided to open it up. I used the suede cloth and I put it over a traditional ceramic coating applicator with that one I could apply it nicely and nicely and evenly now the next one and uh, Grzegorz if you are watching the video please do let me know um, in in a comment um, if I did something wrong uh, but from the instructions it was not 100% clear how long I need to leave the coating on because I didn't really see any flashing however it's a black car so maybe it's a bit more difficult but yeah, so I haven't seen any flushing and based on the description that I need to go in small section by section, I was thinking of uh, I need to kind of like apply and buff it almost straight away. But I might be wrong on that one, but that was my assumption based on the description. Um, on certain panels, I try to leave it for shorter, for longer and uh, what my observation was that the longer I left it on, the more difficult it was to remove. So I, I didn't see any, any benefit of leaving it on longer. Also, I had a feeling when I buffed it that I was kind of like trying to wipe off some sort of like a gluish residue from like glass. And it, it was keep, I don't know, like gathering in... In small bits like like some gluey bits um, on the surface and it was very difficult to buff I, I had to use lots of elbow grease but when I flipped the towel over to the other dry side for a second pass then it was considerably qu uh, quicker and it was removing all this residue nicely about the water beading it's not the best I've seen uh, it's okay, uh, but there are considerably better uh, beading products out there. It gave a nice shine to the car. Um, yeah, again, maybe I didn't use it correctly. So, Grzegorz, please do feel free to leave a comment with what I might have done incorrectly. Uh, in, in case uh, that happened, then obviously I'm going to do a retest of the product. Uh, but right now... I have my reservations. Oh, by the way, I had to use a little bit less than half of this 30 milliliters bottle, and it's a nice big car. Anywho, other than that, that concludes the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell so you're not going to miss any of my upcoming videos. I'd like to say a big thank you for your time and catch you on the next one. Bye bye.